Hey guys and welcome to a proper task guide, Regulated Materials. For this one you need to find one military battery as well as 10 30mm shells for the BMP cannon. All of these can be found in reserve and not in any other map. You can also get the items from your scav case if you head over to your hideout. I've actually had it where I've got two tank batteries from the actual scav case doing it for the moonshine. I've actually been quite lucky and got two right here. Another great way of getting those items is doing scav raids in reserve. Bear in mind at the moment everyone wants to scav in on the reserve so the queue time is definitely higher. I found about 4 out of my 10 tank shells as well as the military battery. But let's head into reserve and I'll show you all of the spawn locations for the military batteries and the shells. Okay so we have just spawned in on reserve. We are currently at the southwest corner of the map where we have these wonderful air raid shelters and these gorgeous tanks sitting right here. Well that's not a tank. I don't know. Well I'm going to call these tanks. So both of these items actually spawn around the tanks as well as on top of the tanks too. So this one it does spawn up here as well as well as on the shelf right there. They do also spawn inside of the air raid shelters too. You just got to look on the desks right there and over along the back as well as over here again. They do just spawn in and around like around here you do get tank batteries. They are very large and it's quite hard to miss. Don't forget to check along the back of the tanks as well and of course inside the um, bunkers. So to start off we are going to be going to certain locked rooms inside of Tarkov, inside of reserve so there are a few keys that you go in to need which is the RBST, RBGN, the MP21, the MP22 and the MP13. So we are currently next to the repair buildings right here. So what we're going to do is head into, I believe this is White Knight on this side. If we head in here and on the ground floor, this should be, yep, MP13. When entering this room, the tank battery can spawn right here. And then if we head upstairs, there's two ways up. If we go up the stairs right here, I'll just show you this way because we're here. Head up these stairs and then drop down this hole and you'll see another grated door right here. I do have key guides on all of these keys as well if you'd like to check them out. And the tank battery can also spawn inside this room. Now let's go head to ST. So ST is one of the most expensive keys that is actually on this map as well as the GN key. The ST can spawn both the tank batteries as well as the shells. So we have the garages on the right here, the storage units. The very last one is locked by this grate. Unlocking this door. They do just spawn lying around on top of these um, boxes as well as the tank batteries can spawn here as you can see. You get some gorgeous guns too. The shells can spawn right here and back here as well and the tank batteries do spawn lying around too. Like before it's just fully RNG when you can actually find it. This is also quite a common spawn on this desk right here for the shells. Now let's head into the second repair building which is just over in this direction. Okay, so we're up on the second floor. We're all the way down to the end in the last door. 
This one is the MP21. And inside here, it does spawn on top of this desk right here. Right there. Also, a fold of intelligence has a chance of spawning up here as well, and inside that on that desk as well. Just so you guys are aware. Now we are gonna go and hit up the RBGN room. Okie doke, so we are now by the barracks, you can see the barracks are right here, this is the North Barrack, South Barrack, and the East Barrack over that side, we actually need to enter the West one, but this is actually the King, so the left side of the helicopter where it says welcome to hell, go through the main entrance, turn left, go through this grated door, head down the stairs on your right hand side, and the first door on your right hand side is the GN room. Inside it has a chance of spawning it. There are actually three loose spawns right here, right here, and right here. So you technically got three chances of finding it. But those are all of the rooms. I'm going to show you the rest of the tanks where they can spawn. So we're just going to head to the other side of this helicopter. Okay, so we're at the back. There is no spawn down in that area right there where my blue dot is. But we are next to the radar um, tank thing. The battery actually spawns at the back right here. And the shell can spawn on top of these um, little weapon crates. But don't forget just to always have a look around because you know how Tarkov is. The items sometimes have a ragdoll thing when they spawn in. And then once again... You have that little bunker right there. They always have the chance of spawning them inside of those. And then over by this one, there is a spade or a shovel with a you know jacket sitting on it. But the battery has a spawn of a chance of spawning right here. I actually found my one quite consistently on these next two locations. So this tank right here in front of us, I've always found the shell right here, right there. That's where I found my two and then the other two I found if we continue running in this direction. So that is Scavlands Extract where you need a PMC and a scav. I don't know whether that's ever going to be achievable by someone. And I found my one here, right there. So guys, I hopefully you found this guide useful. Hopefully that the minimap up the top left is a great addition to these guys. Just to help you in knowing the way that I am moving around this map. Guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore. Seven days a week starting at 8am GMT. If you'd like to know the key videos and everything, they'll be down in the link in the description. Guys, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.